What up, what up? It's a sunny day. Sunny day out here in Texas. We're gonna get into it today, man. We're gonna show y'all how to roll a tarp. Lego, Lego. Hey, man, y'all tell Chris to get a smile on, man. Let's go, man. Look at this white tee, man. That shit, he working hard. Let's go, man. Alright, so the first step in this, this this tarp rolling, you want to stretch the tarp all the way out. Uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can see the tarp, man, and see how we do it. And I'm going to be talking behind the camera while uh, showing you guys how to do this at the same time, alright? So man, let's get it. Show it. Show it. Alright, so here's our tarp right here. We out here in Texas, Enos, taking this tarp off of this low right here. For you guys that know about this, that it's at home at uh, Lowe's in Enos, man. Really don't like this low, but uh, I don't like these Enos lows, but it is what it is, man. We gotta work, we got work to do. Sorry, right, here goes the tarp right here. So basically, what you wanna do with this tarp is you wanna stretch it all the way out. Chris, you wanna get all the way up there to the top. Stretch that part out all the way. Basically, it's the flap. I want to stretch that completely out, like straighten it all the way out. Yeah, there you go. All right, now what we're going to do is, you're going to come over here and take this corner right here, and you're going to fold it. Well, actually, excuse me, excuse me. Try this again, my bad. Come right here where you had the flap at, grab the top part of it up here at the top, and walk it in. Walk it into the middle. Yep. All right. Now straighten it out on both corners. Bada bing. Now you want to come over here to this corner right here. Yep. And pull it and straighten it all out. Yep. Straighten it out. Make it look nice and pretty. All right. So now what you're going to do is either you can start on either corner. It don't matter. What you're going to do is you're going to take this corner right here. And you're going to walk it to the center of the tarp. Alright. Once you get in the center, you just lay it down right there. Alright, now you're going to come grab this other corner and make it match that corner to the center. Yep. Alright, now what you're going to do, now that you're doing that, Chris getting it all beautified, beautified up. Now you're gonna come down here to the other end of the tarp. You're gonna do it exactly the same thing. Yep, walk it to the middle. There you go. There you go, straightening it out. And grab that other end. And walk that to the middle. Yep, like such. Up, oh, you, you, you came over too far. There you go. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to walk walk down the middle of this and straighten it out. Straighten both. See, so, so you got the yellow here, so pretty much what you want to do is cover up this yellow. So what you're going to do is pull your... Yep, there you go. Yep, even it out. There you go. Well, what you're going to want to do now... Yeah, come on, grab this in. Yep. All right, now what you're gonna do is grab this corner right here and basically, you know, straighten it out. Straighten, straighten the corners with each other. There you go. Get it straight. Like you're folding a blanket almost. There you go. What you got to do is, actually, you got to show you. You got to walk it and pretty much wiggle it out and straighten it out. Yep. And what you do is you walk to the other end and wiggle out this corner right here to straighten it up with that end down there. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep, now wiggle out your corners. All right, not too bad. Mind you guys that this is Chris's first time doing the tarp, so, you know, we're not, we're not expecting it to be A1 on the, first, on the first go, but he's getting the concept. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take the corners and do the same thing again. Bring that corner to the middle. Yep, bring it to its seam, to the middle seam right there, that black middle seam. Don't, over, don't go over past it. Cause you got to do the same thing with this other corner. Everything is two halves. Everything got two halves to it. This side over here looking a little scrappy over there, ain't it? That don't look even. There you go. Now you do the same thing with this end. There you go. Yep, something like that. Not too bad, not too bad for your first go. Not too bad. Now you, with, with these corners, like I always like to do, man, I like to grab the corners and pop it, you know what I mean? There you go, like that. Straightens them all out. All right, so pretty much now, what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna grab the long end, which would be this end right here, that's longer than that end, that end's shorter. You'll grab the long end and you'll bring it to this corner. Yep, now you'll walk on down. There you go. There you go. Now what you're going to do is grab this end right here and pop it. No, straighten it out. There you go. All right, so now here come the key part. So you gotta remember what end was your flap on? What end is your flap on? So your flap is on this end. The best way you can always tell is you look down, you see these seams right here, man. Wherever you see the seams at, that's where your flap is at. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't gonna have seams on the end where there's no flap at. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the end where you don't have your flap at, and you're gonna walk it from that end to this end. And when I tell you walk it, you walk it on the tarp. Stand on the tarp. Nope, turn around the other way. Yep, and walk backwards. That way what you're doing is you're compressing the air. You're walking the air out of it as you're walking back. And you're gonna stop right there at the seam. Bring that end about right there at the seam. There you go. Perfect, and that's how it should look. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab yourself two of these bungees that we got hanging up here. You grab those two right there. And you're gonna put them underneath the flat part. Yep. Yep, just lift it up like that and throw your bungees under there. Nope, lay your bungees on the ground. There you go, and lay the other one. Now, now pull the tarp up under the bungees. Pull the tarp under the bungees. Okay, slide it some more. Go like, to, like midway with the bungees. Yep, pull the tarp until you get about midway with the bunch to midway of the bunches. All right, perfect. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk down here to this end, and you're gonna start. Nope, 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 nope. You're gonna roll from here. You gotta roll it. So what you wanna do actually now is walk the air out. Walk the air out before you do it. Walk the air out. Walk the air out makes it easier. All right. Now you come back down here on the end. And you're gonna wanna roll it. The best term I can use is roll it like a blunt. Nope. That ain't how you roll it. 
You want to do a tight roll. Tight roll, man. So you're going to roll it real tight. Roll it real tight. Real tight. Roll it like, like a sushi roll. Because we them sushi boys, kid. We them sushi boys. So you know we got to roll it tight. Sushi boys. So keep it roll tight. For y'all that, you know, back in young days, if you used to roll a blunt, you know, you want to, you know, roll it like that, you know, for those smokers out there. But keep it nice and tight. Roll it. Okay. Now, you see the bungee on this end right here, right by your foot. See it? The hooks. Pull the bungees out a little bit towards you. All right. That's far enough. Now, you're going to put a knee. Put your knee down in it or your foot, I guess, whatever fits you best, and make the bungee snap together. Voila magic. And do that with the other bungee. Chris likes to use his foot. I, I normally use a knee in it. Uh, it's all personal preference. Voila. Look at that. Man wears a white polo, y'all, when he's working in the dirt. Just to let y'all see where we at. We in the middle of a dirt lot. Nothing. This is the drop yard for the uh, Lowe's. Taking us to uh, Eldingburg, Texas, down there by Laredo. But uh, yeah, this is our load, man. We about to get to strapping this one. Uh, not going to do a video on this one because it's pretty much basic strapping. I'll do a video on basic strapping later, but um, clouds out here, so uh, we got to kind of get the moving on this. But today's video basically is just on tarpon, man. All right? So that's the tarpon aspect. So there you have it, man. Me and Chris, we did that. Well, he did that. I just gave the guidance to it. So, uh, yeah, man. That's the end result right there, man. The end result. That's how your tarp should look. Nice and tight. Yo, man, we out, man. Signing out, man. Me and Chris. We'll check y'all later, man. Posted up here in Texas, man. Hot as hell. We gone. I will show y'all what Chris did, but man, it's irrelevant, man. That's between me and my man. He feeling, he feeling, he feeling bad about it, but it's all right, man. It's part of trucking, man. It's part of learning. Yo, we out, man. So we talk to y'all later, man. Y'all be safe. Keep it trucking. We'll check y'all later, man. Deuce.